So guys, Bixby routines automates tasks that you do on your phone every day. It just saves you a bunch of time because it automatically does them for you, makes you more efficient and well, your phone's just smarter in general. I'm going to share 10 of my favorite Bixby routines and I'll show you how to set them up. And let's start with the simplest one. That is, if I'm home, then my phone should remain unlocked. Now, there are two ways to say that you're home. One is by location, the other is by Wi-Fi network, which I'm going to opt for because location eats up battery. So as soon as I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network at home, then my phone should remain unlocked. So I can just search for unlock. There you go. And that's pretty much it, done. Okay, let's complicate things a little bit more. Every time I open my YouTube and gallery app, my phone's rotation should turn on. So what I do is I say whenever app opened uh, YouTube and also gallery. So every time these two apps are opened, next, then rotation should be set to, I think it's called screen orientation. There you go. It should be set to auto rotate and you can test that out. For example, right now rotation is turned off. Now when I open my gallery, you'll see that it is turned on automatically. And when I exit the gallery, it will turn off automatically. All right, let's talk about the next one. I keep my location settings turned off because it helps me save a lot of battery. But there are certain apps that require location. So why not turn on location automatically for those apps? Something like Maps maybe, or uh, even apps that require food delivery. For example, Zomato in my country does that. Uh, once these apps are opened, then location should turn on and that's it and I just give it a name so let's say location and that's it so now it's over here that if app opened our maps in Zomato then location should turn on and they'll turn off as soon as I exit that app okay next let's say in the night I do not put my phone on charge I don't want to wake up to my phone almost discharged so here's what I can do so in the night which is let's say from 1.40 in the morning till about 8.40 in the morning on all days, right? If my phone is not on charge, so I'll have to add another condition that is charging status is not charging. So if these two conditions are met, then and only then turn on medium power saving. Turn that on, that's it. And there you go. If my phone's not charging in the night between those times, then my phone would enter medium power saving mode and thereby my battery discharge would be a lot slower over the night. All right, this next one is an actual battery saver tip. So let's say your battery level drops below 25%. Then you want to do everything in your hand to maximize that battery life, right? So here are a couple of things that I would do. First thing, I would turn off all radio controls. So Bluetooth is something I'll turn off. The next, I also want to reduce the speaker volume, right? Then let's also set the brightness to a very low value, probably somewhere there, okay? So 30% should save me a lot of battery as well. And I can probably turn off always on display from show always to just say off, right? Because always on display actually eats up quite a bit, almost 1% uh, for every one and a half hours. And that's quite a bit. So all those things would happen if my battery levels were to fall below 30%. Okay, next, I also want to configure what happens when my phone connects to my Galaxy Buds Plus, that is my earphones. So I can go to when Bluetooth device connected is Galaxy Buds. Then I want a couple of things to happen. First, I want Dolby Atmos to turn on. So I can just search for Atmos and I can make sure that that turns on, right? The next thing I want is my media volumes. So I want the phone, the Bluetooth audio to be maxed out because I use it a lot for phone calls and I just prefer to have it maxed out. It's just cleaner, clearer, and that's exactly how I want it. And also, more often than not, uh, if I connect my earphones, I also want to immediately listen to some music. So, maybe it should open YouTube Music, my go-to music app, and that's it. So these three things will happen in that order every time I connect my earphones, and I'm just gonna say 
uh, buds. And that's it. And I have buds right here with all those conditions being met. Now one of the really interesting profiles is the driving profile. You can use the one that's already in your phone and edit this one to make it a little bit more personal. So if your phone is connected to your Bluetooth device, that's the car name, obviously you'll have to configure that. Dolby Atmos should turn on, that's good because you're going to play music. Screen orientation to auto-rotate makes sense, you might want to you know, use maps in that mode. Read notifications allowed, again a good idea because that would uh, you know, not distract you. Unlock phone automatically, you don't want to be searching for the fingerprint sensor. Um, I think a couple of things that you can do is, let me just set some device. And what I would like to add to this is probably open app, which is maps, because that's something I generally use when uh, I'm driving. You can also launch a music app, you know, it's totally up to you. Alright, here's a fun one. Let's say that you want your phone's Wi-Fi to turn off automatically when you exit, you know, a Wi-Fi area. So here's what you can do. If the Wi-Fi strength falls below, let's say, 10%, right? Then Wi-Fi should turn off. As simple as that. And obviously this would really save you a lot of battery because your Wi-Fi radios are off when the Wi-Fi is not even there. Okay, a lot of times I'm at home and my phone is on charge and I want notifications to be read aloud at that time. So if I am on Wi-Fi network at home and if my phone is being charged, charging, then I want my notifications to be read aloud for probably all apps, that's fine. Uh, or you could just select, you know, WhatsApp and messages and Gmail, um, whatever is important, maybe Slack, and that's it. This is something that's really easy and uh, I think this is pretty useful. So within the Bixby Routines app, you will see that there are some under Discover tab and some under My Routines tab. My Routines are the ones that you have made yourself. And it also shows toggles so you can turn them on or off manually. But there are some that you see with a play button which means these will not turn on automatically. These are ones you've created so you can tap on them manually to activate them. And how you use these manual Bixby routines is by placing widgets onto your home screen or as you can see that I have done that on my widget edge as well if you've got the edge screen. If not, you can just place them on your home screen and whenever you want to activate them, you have to do it manually. If you want to turn on hotspot, I call it give internet. I know I can just go here, I can look for hotspot and I can do all of that, but it's just easier to have that widget over here. I just turn it on and there you go, my hotspot has turned on. So yeah, I can just turn them on or off as per my wish and whenever I need them. And that way I manually control these routines. And if I want them off, there you go, that's all I have to do. Now, I've created one called meeting and I wanna show you how to do that and why would you do it? So let's say you wanna create something and you say plus and instead of selecting any of these, go to the last one that says when start button is tapped which means you will prompt or you will trigger this routine when you want to. But in meeting, you'll see that when start button is tapped, then it does all of these things. It turns off the keypad tones, it turns off any keyboard sounds, it turns down, it turns down sound mode and all kinds of volume. It'll also send a quick decline message to any calls that I receive and it would open the voice recorder app. So if I'm in a meeting and I suddenly want to record something, it's right there. And if you want to place a widget like this on your home screen, you can do that. So just long press, tap on widgets, look for routines right there, drag and drop it outside. You can select one of the manual ones that you made, for example, meeting, and it just places it right there. So you can just turn it on or off just like that. So anyway guys, Pixie Routines has a lot of stuff in it and it's all up to you. Just go ahead, explore, see what works for you, uh, explore all the conditions that exist. You can combine them and you can create scenarios that you find yourself often in and then you can decide what your phone should do for you. As you can see, there are a bunch of options that are available and the point is you can really automate so many of these things. It just makes your life a lot smarter, convenient and easy. Uh, there are other apps like Tasker or Automate or Flow that does quite a bit of this, but this is an inbuilt uh, native 
app that Samsung has provided for all their phones and it just works beautifully. And thank you for watching guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.